Also part of this massive strike force is the B-58. aircraft the B-47s the B-52s and the B-58s have been carefully timed to take advantage of optimum tactics their KC-135 tankers are launching with them from their secure home bases at some point hundreds of miles from the home bases and high above all the clouds and weather the KC-135 will deliver their fuel to one or more of the bombers. It is this fuel which will get the bombers to their targets at high or at low altitude, and which will bring many of them back home after the attack. All the planes, all the elements, fit into a plan to make the force operate as a precision instrument. While the alert force has been thrown into action, it can still be recalled, returned to home bases if the report of hostile aircraft proves false. These procedures ensure that the nation's offense force need not be held on the ground until the enemy attack develops its depth. Half an hour has passed since the first report of unidentified aircraft. In the control room, reports of the takeoffs and positions are being tabulated for the command staff under the supervision of the Director of Operations. General Larson, this is Turner. How are you? Go ahead, Dutch. Uh, sir, departure reports are being called in now. The alert force is airborne. Uh, we had a few takeoffs late by several minutes and one accident shortly after takeoff. But with the exception of that one, they're all off now. What about the rest? Uh, another... Me, General. Sir, an enemy missile report just in. Just a moment, sir. Just received a missile report. A missile believed to have been ballistic, detonated 10 miles southeast of Lockbourne about three minutes ago. No damage to the base reported. Uh, this report must still be confirmed. All right. Now, what about that accident on takeoff? Uh, B-47 of the 16th wing exploded shortly after takeoff. They suspect sabotage. The commander's checking the rest of his aircraft. How about the rest of the force? We're better off than I'd hoped because of that message you sent last night. 25% of our remaining force was capable of evacuating its present bases. A little less than half of these are ready to strike. Complete crew, weapon loaded, fuel and chaff loaded. Our tanker-bomber ratio looks good. All right, get General Ryan at air defense. I'll be right in. Yes, sir. Air defense, this is General Turner at defense control. Is General Ryan there? General Larson would like to talk to him and look at your board. This is General Ryan. There's a camera on the plot board. We're switching over. Jim, what's the latest on those unidentified aircraft? We have positive information that they are Soviets. We've just had a report from a Canadian interceptor who made contact with six of them. We've picked up 75 on our radar screens, and I think we can expect a lot more. We estimate that they should get to your bases in about two hours. What is the status of your force? The alert force has taken off. I'm holding off the rest as long as I can to build up the maximum strike force. We got an unconfirmed report of a missile attack near Lockbourne. Do you have anything on it? Yes, we picked that up on one of our recorders. Also two in Michigan and one in Colorado. Is there any particular pattern in the bomber attack yet? No, except that they seem to be spreading out as they get farther south. There's no concentration in any one area. How soon are you taking off for your alternate headquarters? We'll stay until the enemy's bomber attack pattern is determined. They're not likely to hurt us here with a ballistic missile. Have you spotted anything faster than a bison? 
No, nothing except those ballistic missiles. General Bates, the vice commander, will be in command at Hillbilly, our alternate headquarters. He's on his way. We'll have to give the Soviets credit for picking this place as an important target and launching several bombers against it. I don't doubt that they can hit it. Please keep me informed. I'll let you know when I leave. Sure will, Dick. Good luck. Dutch, what's the status of our move to alternate headquarters? The aircraft and all personnel, except your key people, are standing by at base size. Good. Yes? General? An orbiting aircraft reported that advanced base Blue Jay was hit by an enemy missile. Extensive damage appears to have been done to the two KC-97 squadrons there. Six other advanced bases report missile explosions, but no hits. Those tankers weren't supporting alert, were they? No, sir. They were part of that post-strike pool for the very deep B-52 strike. That means at least 10 less B-52s will make it back home. So the pattern is beginning to unfold. The Soviets have launched a surprise air attack. Still not knowing the enemy's intention, our offense force can only be ready to hit back. By giving up the initiative, the West must expect to receive the first blow. Fifty minutes have elapsed since the unidentified aircraft were picked up on the North American radar screens. The vice commander is en route to an alternate headquarters to take over operation of the offense force in the event headquarters is hit before it can be evacuated. Meanwhile, General Larson remains in command at headquarters. Get air defense and find out if there's any pattern yet. That's right. This is Zebra Control Europe. Urgent. Repeat. This is Zebra Control Europe. Urgent. Urgent. Turn on your screen. Go ahead, Zebra. 